Hi, I'm Alex Novikov and I'm a career researcher at the University of Arizona. Today I'm here to guide you through running a Python script that helps with adding metadata to your um, headers and file names. This video is part of a series our team has created to help you build your own corpus. For the whole series, please visit our YouTube channel. So if you're on a Mac, um, the first thing you want to do is to open your terminal. So um, now the next thing you want to do is to navigate to where you saved um, your Chibata folder. So in my case, it's in Downloads. So now I need to navigate to Chibata, which is inside Downloads. So now we are inside Chibata. So let's uh, um, see what is actually inside the Chibata uh, folder that you downloaded from, from GitHub. So to do that, um, execute the ls command, which is um, listing everything that's inside the folder. So and as you can see, um, there are some files, but there are also some folders. And the folder that we'll be working uh, from today is called metadata. So let's navigate there. So cd for change directory again, and metadata. So as you can see, we are inside metadata now. And let's see what um, what is inside metadata. So by uh, executing the ls command again. As you can see, there is the Python script, the Chibata headers.py. Then there is the metadata folder um, that um, contains a spreadsheet with um, the uh, metadata information that we'll be using to uh, change file names and add headers. And then the standardized folder, that's where the actual files uh, um, from, for, for the corpus um, are located. So, all right. So let's, uh, before we run the script, uh, let's count how many files are um, inside the folder that we want to run the script on so that we end up with um, the same number of files so that we don't lose um, anything. To do that, and we're um, in this example, I'm just going to run the script on one of the um, subfolders inside standardized. Um, there, are, um, um, there are three subfolders, so I'm just going to run it on, on one of them. So just let's just uh, go in there to make sure that they're there. So let's do CD standardized and then LS within that. So yeah, we do have three subfolders and I'm going to just be running the script on uh, 101, which is, um, which is just the uh, course folder. So 101 has all the files, all the student files that um, uh, come from this course. All right, so uh, to um, count the files, the number of files in 101, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, ls, um, the command that you already used for listing the file, the contents of the folder. But now I'm going to use that to count the files inside a particular folder. So um, 101, and then Inside 101, um, there are several um, subfolders, and um, I believe there are two. So I'm going to try that. So um, two asterisks, asterisks uh, uh, just mean that uh, there is a subfolder level. And then I want to count all the files with the txt extension. So I'm going to do star for all the files, then .txt. Then pipe, which is basically just a straight vertical line. Then uh, WC um, and L. Right. Let's see what happens. 20 files. It tells you that there are 20 files inside, 20 files, especially with the TXT extension, inside um, uh, the 101 folder and um, all of its subfolders. All right, so this is the number of files that we should end up with after we run the script. All right, so to run the script, um, type Python, which invokes Python, then the name of the script. You can just start typing it and again do autocomplete by pressing tab. This script uh, uses two arguments, 
Um, so you need to specify the directory where the files are, um, but also uh, the um, spreadsheet with the metadata information. So to add those arguments, you need to um, uh, do two dashes, um, which is a flag. Then um, for directory, it's just directory equals, and then the path where the files are, which is standardized, and we wanted to run it on just 101, right? So then you want to add a space and another argument by uh, using two dashes again. And um, the next argument is called master file um, with the underscore between master and file. Then uh, equals and um, the file inside the the spreadsheet is located in the metadata folder, so I need to navigate there. And the uh, the file, the Excel spreadsheet um, itself, is called Master Student Data. Um, and again, you can autocomplete. So uh, it seems like we have all the necessary parts. So we have the name of the script, and then we have the directory where the files are, and then we have the um, we specified the path to the spreadsheet with the metadata information. All right, so we're ready to run the script. So let's do it. Uh, so just press uh, enter. All right, it looks like the script run, uh, ran successfully, no errors. And it uh, tells you that it's processing the file, uh, that it's creating a new file name, and also adding headers, oops, adding headers to, um, to each file. All right, so um, now let's first see if we ended up with the um, same um, number of files uh, that we started with, which was 20. And uh, we are inside metadata, and uh, we want to go to files with headers. Oops, CD, so change directory, files with headers. And let's see uh, if we have the 20 files. Hurrah, uh, we have the 20 files and we're good. Uh, so thank you for watching um, this uh, demonstration. And uh, if you still have uh, questions, you can uh, revisit our um, wiki um, page on GitHub or um, watch uh, more videos um, on our YouTube channel.